Hi there, my name is Fahad Sani, and I am the chair of the Propeller Dance Board of Directors. I have short gray hair, a grayish white beard, and I'm wearing glasses and a gray polo shirt with blue and red stripes. Uh, I am very excited to be recording this video as part of our first ever video annual report. So let me start by talking about our shared reality, and by that I mean the ongoing pandemic. Um, this has been a really difficult time for many people, uh, but especially for people with disabilities. Um, what's made it even more difficult is the fact that before the holidays, it looked like we were um, things were about to open up again, uh, and then many of us had to go back into lockdown. Uh, and so if you're like me, it hasn't been very easy to stay positive, uh, stay hopeful, or even to find joy. Uh, and I've been very lucky to be able to find some joy in the work that I get to do with Propeller Dance uh, and um, its amazing staff and volunteers and other supporters. Um, so let me start by giving a big, big thanks to staff for all of their hard work. Uh, whether it was doing recreational classes online or working and collaborating with company dancers virtually, or um, when we could meet in person, uh, making sure that everybody was safe and that we had the right protocols and procedures uh, in place. Um, so thank you for all of your amazing dedication. Um, I also want to thank our amazing board members uh, who have done such a phenomenal job of helping guide this organization uh, during the pandemic and, and beyond. Um, and also a thank you to our company dancers who have done some amazing things and have been so incredibly creative and, um, and prolific, um, you know, you know, during this time and, and have done it all virtually and online. Uh, and I also want to thank those folks who continue to attend our recreational uh, classes uh, for their commitment and for bringing their best selves, uh, even though you know, it was a virtual um, environment, which is, which is difficult. Um, and last, but certainly not least, I want to thank our donors and all of our other supporters without whom this just could not be possible. So thank you. Uh, so I will leave it to Renata and Shara and, and others to talk about the fantastic things that um, we've done this year and what's, you know, coming down the road uh, in the days, uh, months and years to come. So thank you and uh, over to everybody else. Hello, bonjour and bonjour. Renata Suter here, proud artistic and executive co-director of Propeller Dance. I am on the positive side of middle age. I'm sitting in front of an abstract painting by my friend Jennifer Haney. I wear glasses and have medium length dark blonde hair. So here to give you a little snapshot highlights of our year. Uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks for your support. It means the world. <laughs> we couldn't do this without all of you. And uh, you know, it was a tough year, but Propeller Dance is resilient. Woo, incredible. Um, thanks to funding support from Canada Council and Ontario Arts Council. Uh, the team was able to pivot quickly and also to provide the equipment that the artists needed to work most of the year online. I want to tell you about a couple of our major projects. The first one is our Emerging Choreographers with Disability, uh, funded through the RBC Foundation. We were ambitious in choosing four of our core company dancers for the program this year. Sylvain Bouchard, Bella Bowes, Moni Hoffman and Jesse Huggett uh, spent the year creating their own works through mentoring support, production support and uh, access to company dancers and guest dancers. Uh, they are well on their way to showing you the results of this program coming up in March. Our second project was Propeller's launch of a digital presentation series. We wanted to highlight past repertoire and focus on, uh, for, on desire for Valentine's Day and then connection to the land with our wildlife repertoire. 
Uh, we also worked with guest artists, bringing in repertoire from international collaborators, Stop Gap from the UK. We had guest artist Nadine Pon and nature photographer Catherine Gardner on the roster as well. Also really happy to continue our work bringing dance into schools through masks and hopefully contributing to creation of next generation artists. And uh, also another one of our projects was more on the business side. So thanks to Jamie Alink, uh, who worked with an incredible company, uh, Surface Impressions, to build a new, very accessible website. Part of that project, we also created a new logo and branding suite. And all of our comms work that we do is really highlighting our disability pride and uh, focus on disability representation. Lastly, we were part of, Propeller was part of a core group of artists and arts organizations to launch the preliminary stages of the Somerset Gladstone Arts Hub. So this is a potential redevelopment project in the city of Ottawa for arts and culture and space. So stay tuned on that. Finally, just thank you to you. We really focus on creating meaningful art that resonates and uh, enables change for building equity. And uh, our focus this year is on a year of healing and rejuvenation and ensuring that we get back to doing what we do best, which is creating and uh, making meaningful art. So thank you to all of you for being with us. And merci beaucoup, miigwech. Stay safe, everybody. Take care. Hello, bonjour. This is Cher Weaver speaking. I'm the artistic and executive co-director of Propeller Dance, and I'm speaking to you today from my home office that has blue walls behind me. I have brown hair, brown eyes, brown glasses, and I use the pronouns she and her. Working in an integrated dance organization through pandemic times has been challenging and challenging for us all, for sure. But it's also innovated us in a positive way. And I can tell you that the deep commitment, artistry, and interest in creating new dance aesthetics that move both the artists and audiences have never been stronger in propeller dance. Just like the pandemic has taught us that change is inevitable, propeller dance has always excelled at adapting to change. Inclusive dance is all about changing. It's never ending and we're always benefiting from new voices coming to the work and learning from each other and exploring new ways of dancing together. I'd like to sincerely thank the multitude of artists and committed administrative staff, volunteers, our fantastic board of directors who have all contributed to Propeller and are what make Propeller so strong. It isn't the work of one person and we have so much excitement for Propeller Dance's future. Keeping everybody health and safe during this time has been of utmost importance to us. And we created a robust plan for health and safety early on. It's on our website, you can find it there, and it's regularly reviewed by our health and safety committee. I'd like to tell you a little bit about a couple projects on the go with Propeller. One area that we've launched into in a big way is the virtual world. And we've been creating a whole series of digital presentations and classes we are convinced of the immense potential that digital technologies have to engage Propeller with larger audiences, with new dancers that maybe could not come to our classes on a regular basis, with guest artists and students internationally. And in 2020, we launched a pan-Canadian digital dance and disability project with our creative partners that include Being Studios in Ottawa, Joe Jack and John in Montreal, Janelle Rouse in London, Ontario, All Bodies Dance Vancouver, the National Access Arts Centre in Calgary, 
and we've put on a series of presentations uh, with some experts in the field from everything from haptic technology to virtual reality to investigate how we can create digital tools that are truly accessible for disability arts and for inclusive art making. We want to thank the Canada Council for the Arts Digital Literacy Fund and the TELUS Foundation for supporting this project. We are super excited to announce that we are doing our first exploratory in-person lab at the National Arts Centre in April and we have folks coming from across Canada to participate in this with us. On the educational front, the teaching team of Propeller Dance has taught weekly dance classes for children, youth and adults throughout the year and their focus has been on dance training but also on connection and physical and mental health. We've had some amazing dance parties thanks to DJ Sylvain Bouchard. We've had three online presentations showing new digital works intertwined onwards and upwards and an animal themed family presentation with a guest artist Tara Luz and happily ever Esther Animal Sanctuary. Yes, we had a live pig come to our first event and these self-produced online events continue to be a success. We've been finding that we have new participants, about 15% of the participants coming to these have been new to Propeller, so that's really positive. Mentoring emerging teachers with disability has been a priority at Propeller Dance, and I'm really pleased to say that we have four emerging teachers with disabilities who are receiving ongoing one-on-one -on -one mentorship with our staff, as well as practical teaching hours. We had a chance to give back to pandemic workers last year through the Dancing for Joy project, that was uh, formulated by the National Arts Centre and we had a new choreography that was created and presented in outdoor venues along with other local dance artists in an effort to spread joy and that project was very very meaningful to the artists. Thank you to our music collaborators Cobra de Mendang who are deeply part of that project. I'd like to thank the City of Ottawa operating core funding uh, who have been with us since the beginning and fund everything that we do at Propeller Dance. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank the VLN Reach Foundation, the Dan B Foundation, the Family B5 Foundation, the Anne-Marie Gaston Foundation, the Harry P. Ward Foundation who continue to support our organization. Thank you to all of you who have been individual donors who continue to support us. And thank you so much to our admin team, especially to Jamie Link, who has been exceptional um, as our development and administrative manager. The future's bright for Propeller, everybody. Thank you, Miigwech, and see you soon. Hello, my name is Liz Winkler and I'm Artistic Associate with Propeller Dance. I'm a white woman with long gray hair, purple glasses, and today I'm wearing an orange t-shirt. To begin, I would like to give a shout out to long-term company members, Bella Bowes, Rob Chartier, Moni Hoffman, Sylvain Bouchard, Jesse Huggett, and our apprentice dancers, Dylan Phillips and Nicholas Benoit. Congratulations on sustaining your practice and connection through this pandemic year. Company dancers have kept up their own practices in a variety of ways, including not only movement classes, but also research, networking, painting and writing. We are, over the years, dealing with company transition. Dancers have changed and evolved. Some of us have moved on to other things. Many of us are doing choreography, teaching, mentoring, and doing advocacy work. We are trying this year to be aware of personal changes and offer each other support during these trying times. We were able to sustain the company through this pandemic year with some fine teachers and leaders. We started the year out with teacher Maureen Shea, 
who zoomed in from Montreal once a week for six weeks to teach us body and movement awareness, technique, and improvising in our small spaces. We also enjoyed a couple of lessons with an old friend of propeller dance, Tara Brandel, the co-artistic director of Proy Gland Integrated Dance Company in Ireland. She got us moving on the floor and against the walls, using every space available to us in our personal studios. We had a lovely class with Luca Lazy Legs from Montreal, who always brings tremendous energy to everything he does. Harmony Rose, a wheelchair dance artist from All Bodies Dance, led us next, teaching us her trademark harmony duets and working on entrances and exits. She inspired us to use the Zoom room in creative ways. As stimulating as these virtual classes were, we look forward to getting back into a real studio during parts for several classes planned at the GCTC, Great Canadian Theatre Company, during our upcoming season. Here, we will be challenged to dance together while keeping apart and to incorporate distance dancers and guest teachers who will be joining us on Zoom. Thank you for being with us for our first ever video annual report. Here's to continuing to create and innovate as well as to sustain our organization, our company, and supporting our growing community of artists, students, and patrons. What's up, Propeller? This is Luca Lazy Legs from Montreal. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out for your annual general meeting. Um, I had the honor and pleasure to be working with you all last year in your uh, virtual dance workshops and it was an incredible experience because I got to feel your energy through the internet cable waves um, and I've had the honor to share the stage with you in the past and that energy that you bring on stage you were actually able to bring it out um, through the, the internet waves and I had so much fun and I learned so much from this experience because Although I was teaching you, you all taught me something and I think that in the end of the day we all learn off of each other um, and I'm so excited to hear about your projects uh, in 2022, 2023 and I really hope that uh, we'll have the opportunity to work together again and hopefully this time it'll be in person uh, where we can actually move together in the studio. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm wishing you all the best, have a great day rest of the year and uh, hopefully see you soon and stay safe. Peace. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Amos Stevenson. I use the pronouns she, her, and n. 
I have white skin, glasses, dark brown hair, and I'm wearing a black shirt in front of a, a white background. I am one of Propeller's educators for the recreational program, and uh, I'm here to share with you a little bit about what's been going on this past year. Um, I'd like to share something from one of our students in particular, our Wednesday class participant, Taryn Allen, who participates from Toronto. Taryn says she is so happy to be a part of the Propeller dance community, and we are very happy to be able to reach students in locations such as Toronto, Barrie, Kingston, and even Edmonton. In the fall of 2021 and 2022, our education team continued to adapt the educational program for delivery over Zoom. Many of the existing recreational community was able to connect in this way. And as mentioned, we were able to reach communities that otherwise would not be able to participate in our programming. A few other highlights for our educational programming include our first online community week, including four events, culminating in our first ever online dance party, which was a hit with both our participants and with audience members. Online workshops and screenings available on demand for schools and community groups through MASK. Our circuit screening and talkback proves particularly popular. We had two more dance parties that included an animal dance party, which was well received by members of the Ottawa community and beyond, and uh, the circuit screening for the National Treasury Board of Canada's Secretariat for National Accessibility Week has been an amazing opportunity with nearly 3,000 viewers so far. We're really proud of the work we've been doing uh, for the past two years, even though we've had to adapt so much. And although challenges will come our way in the future, I am sure we will be able to make further adaptations and um, serve our community. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Jeffrey Dollar, and I'm a guest artist, teacher, and dance partner specialist with Propeller Dance, an integrated dance company which offers professional, recreational, and educational programming, live and online. Integrated dance is the exploration and development of movement practices and methodologies, which allow dancers with or without disabilities to engage in inclusive and diversified creative work. The workshops we offer through MASK cater to all ages and levels of study. These engaging and accessible experiences, led by company dancers and guest artists, offer a glimpse into the work that we do as a professional integrated dance company. Ranging from breath work to movement exercises to exploring musicality and creativity, there is something in each workshop which will engage every student. Allowing the students to explore the movement methodologies within integrated dance while also encouraging them to create their own movements, drawing from their experiences and perspectives. Sharing our motto, if you can breathe, you can dance, and encouraging children and youth to express themselves freely is our ultimate objective through our educational outreach programming. Having experienced it myself as a high school student, I can confidently say that the workshops offered by Propeller Dance are memorable and highly impactful. Now, as a teacher and dance partner specialist, I see that the reach and presence of this organization within various communities in and around the National Capital Region and beyond is a testament to the importance and relevance of the work being created by Propeller Dance today. I truly enjoy seeing students, participants, and audiences smile and respond to the work that we create. But the satisfaction derived from witnessing joy or hearing testimonies is only part of what drives me as a teaching artist. Propeller Dance teaches resilience, self-confidence, empathy, and respect for one another, all while nurturing a growing community of artists, students, and patrons alike. We so look forward to sharing our exciting programming with you and to sharing with your students the power of possibility. Book a workshop with Propeller Dance through MASK today. Good evening. This is Jamie A. Link, Development and Admin Manager coming to you from behind my office desk. I am a woman with medium length brown hair, brown eyes, and glasses, and I'm wearing a red striped sweater. Numbers don't lie, and our outstanding engagement continues to be supported by sound financial figures. Thanks to the operational support we receive from all levels of public funding, and programming support from various private funders and a strong group of individual donors, we very gratefully continue to thrive, even in pandemic times. We're ending the year with another healthy surplus. On the revenue side, though, some of our programming had to continue to pivot as in-person activities continue to be delayed. There was support from all funders on the adaptations that we needed to make. We received a few new project grants, including OAC Arts Response Initiative, Canada Council Digital Strategy Grant, and Canada Council Digital Now Grant, plus a new sponsorship from TD Bank Group. Even though digital classes were at a lower cost to participants, we had comparable revenue for educational programming, thanks to new participants from outside of Ottawa. We also had other additional revenue come in from special project collaborations like with NAC National Arts Centre, Fibre Fusion Labs, and Bean Studios. We had great support from individual donors as usual with our highest numbers yet, even though there were no fundraising events with no in-person this year. As for expenses, there were fewer expenses in several categories, again due to the digital pivot. As usual, our highest costs go towards artistic expenses where we ensure that our artistic personnel are paid fair wages for their professional contributions. Pardon me. There were no space rentals this year with the entire year online, very few production needs with little in-person activity, and very few fundraising expenses with no new fundraising initiatives needed. 
Programming expenses, which include our education and outreach personnel, increase slightly with larger contracts for these coordinators. Marketing costs increase with a dedicated marketing coordinator role and a website redesign over the summer. Office costs, which include administrative salaries and office rent, remain similar to previous years. Professional services increased with various specialists in grant writing and management, and more services were needed on the bookkeeping end due to new projects. The surplus generated from higher revenue and income saved is viewed as a rainy day fund in the events that grants are not successful, the event of economic downturns and unforeseen situations, and importantly, save towards a longer term vision of a permanent home for the organization. Thank you for joining us. Once again, I'm Jamie A. Link, bringing up to date numbers to you from the offices of Propeller Dance. Stay safe and keep dancing. Thank you to Propeller for opening up to international and interdisciplinary artists, especially during this globally trying time. As the whole world has been exposed to the uncertainty and danger of a pandemic, it is only fitting that good and positive influences be unleashed as well. Many thanks to Propeller Dance as the driving force in this initiative.